So yeah, what happens when one of the biggest streetwear brands with one of the biggest cult-like followings decides to throw their hat in a ring and start offering beard care products and some bar soaps? Yeah, that's right. Dixon Flannel Company is now offering beard oil, beard butter, and bar soap. What? Uh, what were they thinking? So I'm going to give you my opinion after the intro. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Daniel the Bearded. Welcome to the channel. We review beard care products, blue collar content, everything you need to know about your beard. So it's time to clock in. It's time to go to work. Let's go. So when I first saw hints of this, I was like super stoked. I, you know, I buy their flannels. I have their bamboo shirts, their party shirts, the flat bills. I'm like, ah, I have a beard. Now they're offering beard care products. They, you know, they've been teasing it for a while. Danny's teased it on his Instagram stories. So when they finally dropped it, you know, this was sent out for review. I'll go ahead and get this out of the way. These products were sent out for a review. Um, this is the label. I mean, it definitely fits brand. It's on the Dixon brand. You know, that that motorcycle lifestyle, that, you know, just kick-ass, take names, live fast lifestyle. It fits the brand. So pricing on the oil is $19.99. So if you don't know anything about, you know, beard products, that's around market average right now. You're paying about 20 bucks for a one-ounce oil. Some's a little cheaper, some's even more. They also have a beard butter. Once again, the branding, it just fits, you know, everything about Dixon. They also offer a five and a half ounce bar soap. So first of all, the butter is going to run you $24.99 for a four ounce butter. That's about market average as well. I'd say they did, you know, their market testing and they tried to slide right in there on the average to offer their products at the price that they seen fit. Uh, the soap is $9.99 a bar. That's a little bit more expensive than, you know, I'd be, I'd be willing to pay for a five and a half ounce bar of soap. I think right there you're kind of just paying for the name, but the soap did work like a soap should. It's a bar soap. It didn't deplete real quick. Uh, for me, I like to chop mine into pieces so you're not losing it because a lot of small batch made soap can deplete real quick. Anyway, back to the oil. So we'll go over to Carrier Blend. We have sweet almond oil, argan oil, fractionated coconut, virgin hemp seed, avocado, rose hips, sunflower, non-GMO vitamin E, sea buckthorn fruit oil, geranium essential oil, chamomile extract, calendula extract, rosemary extract, lavender oil, rosemary oil, tea tree oil, carrot seed oil, fragrance oil, Dixon.com. I'll put all that in the description below. If you want to check out, you know, maybe I read it a little too fast, you can go on the website and they have it there under the ingredients. So whiskey bent and hellbound. In my mind, I'm thinking a spicy whiskey scent. So for me, it is a spicy in bottle, a spicy type whiskey scent, but the spiciness comes from the tea tree extract that's in here. You get that minty, not really a spicy, it's like a minty. Um, in beard, it calms down. You get more of a, a smooth whiskey with almost like caramel notes in it, some sweet to, sweetness to it. The dry down on this is actually pretty good. So don't go off smelling bottle. I've had that experience numerous times. So for me, the oil, it does what you need it to do. You get it on the skin. It's going to, you know, keep your skin moisturized. It's going to keep your hair, you know, your, your beard hair feeling really, really nice. Uh, the peak on this is about four and a half to five hours. After that, the beard, you know, it, it's not as soft. Um, next up, we'll get into the beard butter. I had it back in the box. This is where things get a little hairy. Again, on branding. The list of ingredients on this is a mile long. So for me, from my experience, this was probably created in a lab, a cosmetics lab. They reached out and they're like, hey, we want to make a beard butter. Uh, we need it to last. We need, you know, need it to be able to sit on a shelf. This beard butter, uh, just from the looks of it, Looks super smooth, don't get me wrong. 
It is a creamy, almost whipped texture. But that's about as far as it goes, the looks. Um, the first ingredient is water. Uh, you do not need water in a beard butter. If you go over the ingredients, there are some really nice ingredients in there. You got shea butter, you got cocoa butter, you got squalane, you got some you know carrier oils in there. But then you get into the dimethicones and the sterile acetates, and it's just it's a lot of fillers, a lot of emulsifiers, a lot of bonding agents, stuff you don't need in a beard butter. It's going to give your beard a fake softness. Uh, it's not going to be really soft. It's going to have that silicone in it. And it's going to make your beard feel fake soft. Uh, for me, uh, Dixon kind of missed the mark on this. They had, you know, one of the hugest platforms. And this this beard butter just strikes way out for me. Uh, I wore it a couple times. And after that, I just could not put it back in my beard. It almost felt like uh, my beard hairs were opposite magnets. And they just, it didn't want to lay like normal. It kept wanting to, like, separate. Wasn't a huge fan of it at all. Um, hopefully they can go back to the drawing board and take out all those fillers and emulsifiers and emollients and silicones and water stuff. They don't need go back to the butters and the carrier oils. You'll be just fine. It's going to give you a two year shelf life, possibly even longer. The soap, the soap loved it. Great. soap leaves your body, you know, leaves your skin feeling clean without that, you know, gunky layer. It does what it needs to do. Um, love the branding. Love the scent. Hopefully they can, you know, go back to the drawing board on the butter and come out with some more scents. But for me, I would not recommend this butter to anybody. Uh, the oil, on the other hand, I recommend trying it, you know, especially if you want to support the brand. They have a cult-like following. So, <coughs> excuse me. So... I'm sure a lot of guys scoop this up, even if just to support them or, you know, as a novelty item, whatever. But Dixon, go back to the drawing board on the butter and I'll definitely try it again. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for me. So if you've made it this far, throw a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more beard advice, blue collar content. Uh, learn something new today. Let it grow. I appreciate you.